Hey everybody, it's Michael, the Texas Auction Picker here. Been a couple weeks since we had a good, had a really good um, Saturday night auction uh, video to show for you. But I got some good stuff tonight. Um, we're going to start right here with all these toys. Actually, let's start here with the pellet gun. I paid five bucks for this. Um, it's an Osman. Uh, it says, you probably can't see that in the video, it's uh, Stinger, and then there's some numbers there. I have to look that up. Uh, I paid five bucks for it. I figure I should be able to get ten or fifteen for it. I bought two boxes of toys for three bucks a piece. Um, didn't do as well as I thought I was going to on those, but there's some good stuff in here. There's this VTech helicopter. Uh, clean it up and get some batteries in it. Make sure it works. Uh, that's about five bucks right there. Uh, this little laptop. Uh, I'll need to put some batteries, in, fresh batteries, in it. Uh, that's another five bucks. This little truck right here, a little matchbox dump truck, it's, um, it takes batteries actually. Well, let's see if it actually, no, okay, it'll need some fresh batteries. Uh, you know, that's, if, it, if that works, that's probably about five bucks. I got some, well, I think these are probably transformers. I'll try to have to, um, get them put together properly, but they're a couple of bucks a piece. Uh, over here, the other box. These are all battery powered. I'll have to get batteries put in them, but they're two to three bucks a piece there too. And then this little Fisher Price storybook thing. This actually works. So this probably put about clean clean that up. That's about four bucks. Oops. Don't need to go breaking stuff in the video. Uh, got this for four dollars a little rack with these apple plates on them um, probably put 1250 on the on this the flea market also got this big leaf right here for four dollars it's got a little frog thing here these folks apparently liked um they like frogs and apples because they had a lot of frog stuff and a lot of apple stuff uh, I'll probably put about eight on that Got this little pan right here that had a bunch of apple stuff in it. This little basket here. Um, got some little pictures. A little apple salt and pepper shaker set. This little plate says, "Thank God for dirty dishes. They have a tale to t they have a tale to tell. While others may go hungry, we're eating very well." Um, this basket I pay this uh, little pan I paid uh, three bucks for. There's probably twelve, ten, twelve bucks worth of stuff right there. Oh, I also got this is cute. This, this little robot I got out of here, out of this one box of toys. Turn him on, and he he walks around a bit. That's it's a little two to three dollar toy. So I didn't do too badly on the toys there. I bought this little box right here also for for uh, about three or three fifty. <coughs> I bought it mainly for these little Disney glasses here. Uh, Steamboat Willie 1928 right there. This, uh, there are several of these that have sold on eBay recently for $10. Um, so that's, that's tripling my money right there. This, this is another one, Magician Mickey. Another Disney cartoon. And this one for Fantasia. I'll have to look these up individually. They might be worth, they might be worth $10 a piece or maybe just five. Either way, that's, that's a nice profit on the whole box right there. But we've also got this. I have to look these up. A little Care Bear Pizza Hut glasses. Got two of those. See if they're worth anything on eBay or maybe just a couple of bucks a piece at the flea market. And I got these two. Little, got a little pair of wine glasses here. These will go up to the flea market. About three or four bucks for the pair. Uh, Valentine's Day coming up. They'll probably sell pretty quick. Got a couple of souvenir shot glasses here. That's the Texas State History Museum. And Arkansas Razorbacks, and this is um, Multnoma Malt Falls. A couple of bucks a piece, probably at the flea market. Um, also got this one other little box of stuffed animals, which I'm. This was another three dollar box, and I bought it. Mickey Mouse here. He works, so I'll have to try to clean, get him cleaned up. This. See if this can be washed. Surface washable only. So I have to see if he can be wa how how well he'll clean up. If he does, that's probably about ten bucks right there. 
And there's some other little stuff if they can be cleaned up. And I'll get a little money on in there. Got this wine rack here though. Move this so you can see that. Uh, paid 1750 might have been a little much for this. It's going to have to be sanded and spray painted. Um, but I'm thinking once it is, it's about 40 to $50. Also got a little toddler bed here, youth bed. Um, these are, we don't get these a whole lot here at the furniture store, but when we do, um, I set them out front and they get a lot of attention. Clean it up a little bit. I've the mattress isn't in great shape, all but I've got another, I've got another little toddler mattress that'll fit this bed, so um, I'll switch the mattress out on it. That's about another fifty bucks. Also bought this this little green chair here, a real good comfortable chair. I actually fell asleep after I bought it. I fell asleep in it reading a book because um, I was pretty much done once I bought this. I was done for the night. Um, needs to be cleaned up a bit, but it's you know some Resolve carpet cleaner. Bucket of warm water, a good nylon brush, they'll clean that right up. And that'll be about a $35, $40 chair. Got a couple of ice chests here. I love getting ice chests down at the auction. I always make good money on them. They always need to be cleaned up, of course. But I paid $7 a piece for these. And they'll I'll resell these for $15 to $20. Bucks. I'll, in fact, I'll probably uh, clean these up tomorrow tomorrow afternoon and then get them listed on some of the Facebook sales sites. And I also got with the Rubbermaid one, I got the little thermos thing there. Go with that one. Got this for five dollars, Black & Decker Storm Station. Um, this was, uh, I the next three, this and the next two things after it, my last two things here, uh, were part of a a lot from a from a closed down pawn shop that somebody had bought out the contents of. And hopefully be some more from there from them the next couple of weeks but um I paid five bucks for this and it didn't come with a cord with a power cord I'm gonna have to see about that but all this stuff should work and this should be a pretty I'll have to look this up see what these are worth but that should be a pretty good profit right there uh, got a little five bucks I also got this little box of uh, video game controllers there's a wireless PS2 controller in here, which is the main reason I bought that. I'm gonna take that home. And then there was this. This was this is the thing I'm most excited about. This is a digital audio link, wireless, 5.8 gigahertz rear channel. It's for connecting your speakers, wireless speakers to your it's for it's for connecting your speakers wirelessly to your stereo system or your home entertainment system, whatever. Um, and it's brand new. Never been out of the box. Um, and they had $60 on it there at the pawn shop. Uh, I think the retail on this was, I looked it up, was around $100. Uh, I looked on eBay for this. There were two that two used ones that had recently sold for $25, for about $25 each. Uh, so hopefully I can get around $60 to $100 for it. But I only paid fifteen for that, so that's going to be that's going to be a real good profit. That's going to get most of my money back right there for the entire night. But that's what I got this week. Um, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the Facebook page where I'll post some pictures, the uh, links to the the auctions, and some of my other favorite picker videos that I find during the week, and other information like that. Follow me on Twitter at auction picker, and have a good night, everybody. Thanks.